Hi, I'm Lloyd Johnson, Wood Turner Pro, and today we're going to be talking about the subject of adding rings to segmented vessels. These could be open or closed segment rings, but it's a subject that's been talked about for as long as people have been making segmented vessels. Uh, there's a lot of ideas out there. Everyone's got their own method of doing it. Some of them work great. Some of them don't work so well. I've pretty much tried them all, but I've uh, come up with one that I like, and I want to show it to you today. Uh, this one is called the Segment Stomper. It got its name from a product I'd, that I used to use five years ago to add labels to CDs. Called the Stomper. I'm sure many of you have used it. And what it does is you would take the label, put it sticky side up, and put the CD on the stomper and then plunge it down and it would to apply the label. And I noticed when I was done the label was perfectly centered and I was thinking, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if I could do that with segmented rings that quickly and that accurately. So I did a lot of thinking, tried different things, and I've come up with a, a product that I think, uh, that I think you're going to like. So this is the, segmented, the segment stomper, and it's just simply a PVC Schedule 40. This is, one is made from black furniture grade uh, PVC, but uh, in your stores you're going to find white, and that's fine. And it has a plunger that is spring driven, and it is perfectly centered in this. Both it's centered at this end, and as it travels, it is centered as it as it moves down. It simply is a 16-inch PVC pipe. It's got a, an end cap on it, and at this end, it has a PVC table cap. This is what it looks like. I've what I've done is I've on my uh, Festool multifunction table. I enlarged a hole just a little bit so I could mount it underneath, and it just plunges into the table. Now, obviously, as it is, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do much. So what I'm going to do, though, is add to it a method of centering the, the rings, and we're going to be talking today about open segments. So I'm using the products called Seg Easy, and these are made by my good friend Jerry Bennett. And Jerry, as you know, is one of the most talented and creative segmented wood turners in the world. And for a number of years, he's made these plates. He has two of them. This one happens to be for a 24 segment. And so all you do is you cut your segments, you lay them in, in the, the uh, slots, and they are separated by this, which is 4%, is going to give you a 4% gap. So I have, uh, and this, this is the 24, and this is the 18 segment, and we're going to be working with this one today. Now, uh, there will be additional instructions on the website uh, that show how to cut these. And so but at this point, we're just going to sh show it in action. So all you do is you just drop this plate. And then, so now the plate is perfectly centered around the plunger. And you cut your segments according to the plan of, of Wood Turner Pro. And you'll notice I, I also had Jerry on these plates that he's making custom for uh, this product. Uh, he's, n he's now numbered them. And all I've done is I've taken a felt pen just to darken them so they will stand out a little bit. So all you do is you cut your segments and move them in towards the center. And that is going to give you an, in, an outside and an inside diameter that matches wood, what you've done in Wood Turner Pro. Now, the harder you push these in, they will get wedged in there, uh, and so they, they won't move. But I, instead of wedging them in, I kind of like to just use a rubber band. It's easy to do. And that just keeps them, that's going to give them the same amount of pressure. And what that does is that locks them into place. And so now this ring is perfectly centered in the plunger. Now on the top of this plunger is a, thread, a, a sh short threaded area. We're probably not going to be using this today, although we will use it in the future. But the outside diameter of that is 5 eighths of an inch, just a, a hair less than 5 eighths of an inch. So on the lathe, we're going to take a face plate, a waste block, and our first ring, or, which is going to be a, a, a solid disc. And then I'm going to I use a Forstner bit to drill about 1 eighth of an inch. It doesn't really matter. All you need is just something so that it's going to sit on top of here, and that's going to center this on the plunger. And so as the name 
and uh, says you're just going to stomp it down onto that ring. You'll take a pencil, draw a line around it just to see where you need to apply your glue. Apply the glue and then stomp it down. That will, that will perfectly center these. And then the last thing you've got to do is apply um, a weight to, to, um, for the right amount of pressure. And I found that about five to 10 pounds uh, works really well. You, you don't need a lot of weight. So in looking for what a solution was for, uh, to give me a good weight distribution, it just so happens that I spend a lot of time at the gym. Well, I spend a lot of time at the Starbucks, which is, which is next door to the gym. But from there, I can see into their window, and I notice that they, they have their weights for their barbells have got a two-inch diameter hole in the inside. This is a five-pound. Uh, they also have got the exact same thing in a 10-pound. And so it just happens to fit perfectly over a faceplate. This one happens to be made by Don Pencil. It's an inch and a quarter eight. So obviously, if, you're, if you've got something other than that faceplate, you'll need to come up with your own idea. What I like about this approach is that it is distributed the weight really well, and it's going straight down. And you'll notice I can't move it. There's just no way that this can move. So uh, you, the problem that we've all had before where you, you put pressure on and now things want to slip just goes away with this plunger-based system. So now we've added our first row of open segments to, to the disc, and you're just going to repeat this process for the next row. So I've put another row on there, and uh, now one thing you'll want to make sure is your Woodturner Pro plan, you are certainly going to be using different colored species, so just make sure they go in the correct uh, number that corresponds to the plan. So you're just going to take back on the lathes, you, this is going to go back on the lathe, and you're going to flatten this and turn a little bit of the inside if you like. Now you'll see that the, the center hole, when we get done, when, after we add the last ring and we go to turn the inside, you're just going to turn that, that eighth inch uh, hole away. So again, now we're just going to uh, stomp onto there and get, make sure we've got it oriented correctly. Now. I'm going to give you an idea here. This is not part of the stomper, but I think it's a, it's a good idea nevertheless. And so what we've got here is I've got a laser level. And you can, for $20, you can buy one at um, Harbor Freight. Uh, it's, it's going to be similar to this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this. I turn on the, uh, the laser. And I'm going to, since I have this lined up in one of these holes centered, I'm just going to put this centered on a few holes there, so now I know that it's pointing in this direction, in the center of the plunger. And just to verify that we've got it, I, you may or may not be able to see this, but you just want to make sure that that laser line is parallel to the edge of the straight edge. So now you just simply have to take your, and what I've done is I've marked uh, a center, of, so you're just going to make sure that those lines get lined up. But as you can see, with even just laying flat on a table, this has projected a line that is clear up to the top of here. So this is going to make it really easy for you to line up your segments. Like that. So just glue and put your weight on, and, and just adding rings is that easy. I'd like to talk about some of the reasons that I like the stomper method for adding open and closed segment rings to a vessel, as opposed to, for example, using your lathe for the centering process. That works well, but the, uh, there's some inherent difficulties with it, especially gravity is no longer your friend. You know, for gluing, you're going to be dripping uh, glue on your lathe. But the biggest thing is it ties up the lathe while the glue dries. I always like to work in pairs whenever possible. So if I'm making an open segment vessel, if I can do two halves of it and work from the bottom and from the top, I can have one, uh, one piece gluing and drying while I'm working on the other one. And, and if your lathe is tied up from that process, you can't do that. Gluing is so much easier when you're working on a horizontal surface like this. 
Uh, here's uh, the Rockler, the new silicon system. Just to give you an example of, of uh, the gluing process, uh, it's so much easier. Here, your hand never leaves, is always in one position, and, and you can just use it as a turntable. Likewise, if you're trying to glue onto just edges, particular edges, it just becomes so much easier. So since you're still watching this video, it means that you have uh, enough interest to at least see how the, this uh, stomper is made. What we're going to do is we're going to start at your local uh, Home Depot or something where you're going to use an uh, inch and a quarter schedule 40 PVC. This piece is 16 inches and it's going to have an end cap on it. The, the last part of the housing is going to be the table cap. The table cap comes in uh, you can buy it online, you can get it at uh, Amazon, or if you uh, do a Google search for PVC table cap, uh, you're going to see a number of places that make these. And so you can get them either in white or black. And the last thing that you have to do is you need to put a one and one eighth inch hole into the, the top of it. And the way that I, I do that is I just put it on a four jaw expanding chuck and use a spade bit or you can just cut it by freehand and just make it an inch and an eighth and that's going to that's going to complete the housing but the interior is is where it's got some components and i was initially looking at where to buy those individual components and then i discovered that there was uh, something that was going to make it real easy so just go down to your local uh, lawn and garden supply and get a 12 inch pop-up sprinkler made by Orbit and this happens to have everything that we need so the first thing you're going to do is uh, and by the way this costs $7.98 at Home Depot so take off the top and you'll be throwing that away take out all of the internals and throw the housing away pull this back a little bit unscrew the top and take out the filter and throw those away. So the three pieces that we're going to use is this rubber centering device, the spring, and this plunger. Now the plunger has a ring at the bottom and we're going to keep that on because that is going to, that uh, fits just inside the PVC and so that's going to keep the bottom centered all the way through all when, when it's going down. So um, so the way this will work is just put the spring in, put the plunger in, add the, the rubber centering, and add the table cap, and cement that in place, and you're all done. Now even though we've been talking mostly about open segment work today, I want you to, uh, to see how the same system is used with closed segment rings. I've actually been using this system with a different kind of a plunger, but I've been using this for about five years. And uh, I'm sure I know that many of you uh, that are long-term customers also have bought one of these from me. So what I've done is I've redesigned it and now I've made it to fit this new stomper and here's how it works. It's simply a Longworth chuck that is uh, centered around the, the uh, stomper. So well, th what that means is you just have to drop your ring on and this is how long it takes to center. That is now centered to within a sixty-fourth of an inch and uh, it just, and the, the nice thing too now once you glue straight down like we have done before you just don't have any chance that the rings are going to slide. So anyway, I am going to go back into production on this device to be used with the stomper. And so it's going to take me a while to get back into production on it. But uh, anyway, I want to, you to be able to do both open and closed segment rings with the stomper. So with that, thank you for your time, and I hope this is uh, something that will be interesting to you. And if you have any questions, uh, please just leave a comment or send me an email. And thank you for your time.